today at the Royal Exchange, we were doing like interactive workshops that kind of give us techniques and offer us an opportunity to see what acting is like outside of the environment that we're usually in. We're just told from a young age that you're either creative with the arts or you're good with maths and science. And I think, I don't really think that's the case. In a science class, we had to describe the digestive system, but it was like written in the form of a story. And I found it like way more memorable in writing the story, like in the way that I would write in English. And I just took in the information way better than if I was copying from a textbook or a whiteboard. Through the arts, you, you develop your creativity and you develop your, your devising or your composing or your, it, your, your ideas and your innovation. and. If you didn't have those sorts of things, then you wouldn't be able to make the new iPhone or something like that because you wouldn't have the ability to conceptualise new things. Drama and all the arts, is, I think they're just as important as all the other subjects because um, for people with special learning difficulties or differences, drama and art and dance and all the other subjects other than maths and English um, are quite a good escape and something you can feel good at in school um, as opposed to, I don't know, feeling quite down about the other subjects. Well, I think you can learn like social skills from drama and communicating and co just confidence in general for like when you go up to future interviews and jobs, you can learn the social skills that you really need in life. A creative city would benefit people as like, they just have fun. They want to get up and go to work and all it takes is one little dip your toe in at the arts and you're there and you have, you, you just feel mentally ready for the day.